Bemidji State University's Hagsauer Hall may be upgrading in the future. Haiti Clotter shows us how a tour could get the ball rolling for a new building. After 47 years, what is known as Hag Sauer Hall at Bemidji State University may be no more. Faculty, staff, state representatives, and the House Capital Investment Committee took a tour to learn more about a proposed bonding project that could replace the building. Well, Hag Sauer just did not fit into the bonding, into the budget this past round. Now, for that reason, now that it's at the top of the Minsk to-do list. The demolition and new construction of the outdated facility would also erase $9.3 million in deferred maintenance, such as water damage in the basement. There's momentum in the legislature behind the project. And I'm on the bonding committee and talking directly with the with the chair, and so we'll we'll keep things moving the best we can. The proposed Hagsauer Academic Learning Center is 27,700 square feet, or less than one-third the size of the current building. Ten state-of-the-art teaching spaces and an auditorium to seat 320 students are some of the proposed additions. The project would also signify campus-wide improvements. So this will allow us to build classrooms that are on one level, they'll have ADA accessibility, and all of the students will be able to have the same access to the faculty member in a really active learning environment. The tour allows the committee to see the building firsthand and understand the needs for it. A facelift for Hag Sauer could enhance campus life at BSU. If we can make it a more modern builder and downsize it a little bit, it'll help uh, the, the school as a whole save some money and they can then roll that into the student. BSU is seeking $22.5 million to finish the design and complete the construction. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. If approved, the completion of Hag Sauer Hall would be in the fall of 2020. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.